Hello Gemini and welcome to your May 2019 tarot readings with me. Let's get started to see what this month is holding for us. Well, 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 it starts on a very good note. I would say cash. <laughs> yes, because you're getting money, my dear Gemini. In the first week, um, if you have been wondering about your financial problems, if you have been having problems regarding your regarding your finances, my dear Gemini, then the first week is favoring you in a positive way. You are going to get, um, rather, I would say, get opportunities to create uh, more financial uh, comfort for you, more material comfort for you. This is what I see. And I also see that um, there will be opportunities coming in. You also might get a pay raise. You might get a bonus. You might get some, you know, extra money coming in from your parents or your relatives. Uh, there is some money coming in, a check coming in or... Um, if you have been applying for a loan for uh, buying something then yes this loan thing is also uh, getting passed in the bank and you are receiving this money so it's all in all a money energy in the first week my dear gemini for you money comes in for you and this is going to make your life much more comfortable maybe you will be happy because you wanted to buy something and now you have the money to buy this all right my dear gemini and i see this energy is a very very positive and very uh, rewarding energies in the first week for you so if you've been uh, in the creative field because as I see the number three over here it's related to your creativity to your spontaneous initiatives um, basically if you're a person in creation and media and things like that uh, I feel that money will come in very easily for you in the first week of May and opportunities also for all the Gemini's in the first week and then we see the second week and this is a very wonderful energy as you see so many so many hearts what does it mean that love conquers everything love triumphs over over all the difficulties and conquers all the obstacles and comes up as the winner this is what it is for you dear Gemini in the second week I'm seeing that uh, your uh, exchanges your communication with people I would say um, yeah your communication with people is going to be very positive there's going to be a lot of um, how do you say cordial warmth and cordial uh, relationships are going to be encouraged in the second week thanks to your communication skills at this point of time you're feeling very loving towards people and there is a lot of sincerity and this bright light that you are emitting at this point of time which is making you so charismatic is that people are getting attracted to you my dear Gemini this is what I see in the second week and I also see that um, there is also um, blooming up of your existing relationships like with your loved one uh, your relationship is blooming um, it is you know uh, expressing itself uh, in its full glory at this point of time and I'm also seeing that um, for some of the Gemini's there must be uh, a kind of um, happening in the family a positive happening it can be a marriage it can be a baptism it can be the housewarming it can be an engagement there is something happening or a birth in the family wherein I see that um, there is a lot of meeting and a lot of you know give and take of uh, warmth of love and harmony this is what is seen so all in all a very positive energy week for you dear Gemini in the second week and I'm also seeing that whatever are your existing relationships you are making them very strong and that is coming from you okay because you are emitting light you're emitting love and you know what it is all about love and light is that when we give it it comes back to us it's always like that whatever we are giving it comes back to us this is the law of nature this is the law of the universe so enjoy the second week's energy my dear Gemini and then we go to the third week and as you see the third week is a bit of a challenging week <clears throat> and why is it challenging <coughs> excuse me why is it challenging my dear Gemini because uh, most probably you're a bit tired uh, most probably um, you are feeling drained okay in the third week um, 
there is something not okay between you and your loved ones um, there is uh, conflicting energy in the third week so take care um, not to you know uh, intensify these conflicts try to be more the pacifist or you know pacify uh, those conflicts that arise in the third week for you dear Gemini and I also see for uh, some of the Gemini uh, who are not happy in a relationship there is a rupture that is seen this rupture can be a temporary rupture or a permanent rupture for some of you as you can see that there is a sword here so some of you are cutting off from whatever is negative in your life you you don't want that it can be a relation it can be a job it can be um, a state of mind it can be an addiction that you just want to you know like chop off i don't want this anymore in my life now it has not allowed me to grow in the proper way i just want to give it a I mean, I just want to end it and I don't want it to grow in my life anymore. It's just like um, those bad um, plants that grow between the beautiful flowers and who suffocate the beautiful flowers. So what do you have to do? You have to remove those bad plants. And this is what the third week is all about. Remove what is not good for you, what is not allowing you to grow, my dear Gemini. So this is what you have to ask yourself. Are you in a toxic relationship? Are you... Uh, um, you know just in something for that for the sake of being in it yeah you need to be very honest with yourself are you enjoying your job are you um, getting satisfaction about in a particular situation you need to analyze all this in the third week and take your your decision in the third week it is a very decisive uh, week's energy my dear Gemini and I'm also seeing that um, some of the uh, Gemini's are feeling a bit burdened because of uh, certain uh, certain relationships in their lives uh, which are not allowing them that freedom that they need okay so it can be like um, uh, maybe the domination, excessive domination of a partner or your family or your mother, your father, your brother or your sister. You know, each of us have those kind of, uh, um, you know, someone in the family will always be there uh, to whom we surrender very easily. And if they are a bit... Uh, not very balanced then we get affected by that so in the third week uh, this is what is uh, going to be very much on your mind is like how to cut uh, the negative um, connection in a relationship and also preserving that relationship but just that negativity has to be chopped off my dear Gemini and I would almost like to tell you is that um, don't get discouraged uh, no matter what the situation is in the third week don't get discouraged don't uh, you know lose your morale just say this is a passing phase and I shall pass easily out of this and then we are going to the fourth and the last week and this is about having a support from a father figure a support from a person who is a very good decision maker uh, this can be this person is a person uh, who is um, you know in the hierarchy they are pretty much very well placed and they are very good decision makers and um, for single Gemini ladies, this can be a person who is a divorcee and might be new to your environment also, newly separated um, person also. This is what I'm seeing this person as. But this person is very trustworthy. This person is not those kind of, you know, flirtiest people. No, they are sincere and uh, they are very good decision makers and they are going to extend help to you in some way or another, my dear Gemini. If you are fixed in a kind of some any legal problem or any sentimental issues, then this last week's energy gets to you. A friend, a father figure, I would almost see because this person is very matured. So it's like it's like a father figure who comes to your help, my dear Gemini. And for other Geminis also, I see for some of you, it's your boss who is, uh, uh, you know, giving you that push that you require so much. Or you yourself are the boss and you are giving a push to somebody in the good direction. This is what I'm saying for you, uh, my dear Gemini, in the fourth week. And it is all about work for you 
in the fourth week, okay? Because you are taking new challenges, you are taking uh, new things in order to progress in life. This is what is seen for you. And it can also mean for Gemini ladies, it can also mean your husband also, your brother or your father also, or uh, at work it can be your boss or a colleague who is very mature in the very mature the head and is ready to help you so wow uh, except for the third week i think we are uh, quite a good a uh, good 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 month for you my dear Gemini so I would say make the most of it and yes because um, May the end of May and that's it your birthday you're entering your birthday season and and what a card because it is a transition because you are dying to your old self and you are going towards the new you so you're getting born this is the rebirth again and this is what is marked uh, by this card exactly in the third week and this is where you are almost entering into your birthday period so that's going to be really really nice and for those who are may born gemini's very happy birthday to you and i really wish you to have a wonderful creative spontaneous fun loving and um spiritually deeper year and may you be blessed and be prosperous always so thank you my dear gemini for listening and please do like share and comment if you're new to my channel i suggest you please do subscribe so that you're notified every time i release a new video and i shall see you in your birthday month until then enjoy take good care of yourself bye bye god bless bye